Hi everyone, this is Teacher Mel. Today we are going to graph linear inequalities in two variables and we will be using these four steps. Let's have our first example. Graph the solution set of 2x plus, plus y is greater than 6. Ang gagawin lang natin sa step 1 is we need to replace the inequality symbol with equal sign. So if we have... 2x plus y is greater than 6. This will become 2x plus y is equal to 6. Anong ginawa natin? Yung inequality sign natin, pinalitan natin ng equal sign. Okay. Move on tayo sa ating step 2. For step 2, we need to find the x-intercept and y-intercept. So, paano natin nahanapin ang ating y and x-intercept? Okay. So, ang gagawin lang natin, we let y equal to 0 and we let x equal to 0. So, this becomes, let y equal to 0, the other side naman, we let x equal to 0. Okay. So, 2x plus y is equal to 6. I'll just copy it first. 2x plus y is equal to 6. Okay. So, we need to substitute the value of y, which is equal to 0. So, this becomes 2x plus 0 equal to 6. Simplifying, this becomes 2x is equal to 6. Now, we need to find the value of x. Ang gagawin natin, i-divide natin both sides by 2. 2x is equal to 6. Divide both sides by 2. So, ang value ng letter X natin ay, oh, sorry, ang value ng letter X natin is equal to 3. So, X is equal to 3. Ang magiging coordinates natin ay, if Y is 0, X is 3. So, we have 3, 0. Now, on the other side naman, we let X equal to 0. So, ang value ng X natin ay 0. We need to find the value of y. 2 times 0 ay 0 plus y is equal to 6. So, this becomes y equal to 6. So, ang coordinates natin ay, if x is 0, the value of our y is equal to 6. Okay, for our step number 3, so we need to graph na. So, let's start with 3 and 0. So, if x is 3, y is 0. So, it's here. When x is 3, y is 0. And then, the other one, it's here. Kapag ang ating x ay 0, ang y natin ay number 6. Okay, just a reminder, kapag nag-graph tayo, gagamit tayo ng solid line kung ang ating original inequality contains less than or equal to, o di kaya naman greater than or equal to na symbol. Kasi yung solid line indicates that all the points on the lines are part of the solution of the inequality. Pero if the inequality contains less than or greater than symbol, gagamit tayo ng dash or a broken line. Yung dash natin or yung broken line, indicates that the coordinates of all the points on the line are not part of the solution set of the inequality. So, based sa ating given, gumamit tayo ng greater than na symbol. So, kapag greater than or less than na symbol, ang gagamitin natin ay broken line. Okay, so let's graph it. Next, for our step number four, we need to use the origin 
as the testing point. So, ang, ang ating origin is 0 and 0. So, anong gagawin natin? Ang 0 and 0, isusubstitute lang natin sa ating given inequality. Ang ating given inequality is 2x plus y greater than 6. Okay. So, if the testing point satisfies the inequality, we need to shade the area where the origin is located. 2 times 0 plus 0 greater than 6. 2 times 0 is 0 plus 0 greater than 6. 0 plus 0 is 0 greater than 6. Okay, ang final answer natin is 0 greater than 6. And this is not true. It is false. Kaya ang gagawin natin, shishidan natin yung area where the origin is not located. Ito yon, Dito banda. Okay. So, this would be our graph for 2x plus y is greater than 6. So, therefore, the half plane where the origin is not located is the shaded portion. So, the shaded portion consists of the solution of the linear inequality. Ibig sabihin, yung shaded area natin, that would be the solution of the linear inequality. Okay, we have our next example. Graph the solution set of a negative 2x plus 4y less than or equal to 8. So, ano ang ating step 1? Ang ating step 1, okay, for our step 1, ang gagawin lang natin is we need to replace the inequality symbol with an equal sign. Okay. So, papalitan lang natin ang ating inequality symbol ng equal sign. Okay. So, kung meron tayong negative 2x plus 4y is less than or equal to 8, this will become negative 2x plus 4y is equal to 8. Anong ginawa natin? Pinalitan lang natin ang ating inequality symbol with an equal sign. Okay, next naman. Step number 2. Ano ang ating step number 2? Ang ating step number 2, hanapin lang natin ang value ng ating x and y intercept. Okay? So, paano natin nahanapin yon? We let x equal to 0. And we let y equal to 0. Okay, let's do this. So, we have a negative 2x plus 4y is equal to 8. Kapag x is equal to 0, this becomes negative 2 times 0 plus 4y is equal to 8. Negative 2 times 0 becomes 0 plus 4y is equal to 8. 4y is equal to 8. For us to find the value of y, we need to divide both sides by 4. So, y is equal to 8 divided 4 becomes 2. So, ang y natin is equal to 2. If we let y equal to 0 naman, this becomes negative 2x. Copy lang natin ang ating given. Equal to 8. So, negative 2x plus 4, 0 is y, equal to 8. So, this becomes negative 2x plus 0 is equal to 8. Negative 2x is equal to 8. For us to find the value of x, we need to divide both sides by negative 2. Okay. So, this becomes, maka-cancel, negative 2 divide negative 2 becomes 1. So, x is equal to 8 divides negative 2 becomes negative 4. Okay. So, therefore, ang ating coordinates, when x is 0, ang ating y ay 2. Pero, when x is negative 4, 
and then ang y natin ay 0. Okay, after this one, ano yung next step natin? Ang next step natin is we need to graph. That would be for step number 3. Okay, so ikagraph natin ang 0 and 2 and we have negative 4 and 0. Okay, when x is 0, y is positive 2. So, it's here. 0 and 2. The other one is negative 4. When x is negative 4, y is 0. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is negative 4 and 0. Next is, let's connect the two dots. And always remember, gagamit tayo ng solid line kapag yung original inequality natin contains greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Since based from our given, makikita nyo, it's less than or equal to. So, ibig sabihin, we need to use the solid line. Okay, so for our step number four, next is we need to use the origin as the testing point, and that is zero, zero. Ano yung given natin? Ang ating given is negative 2x plus 4y is less than or equal to 8. So, substitute natin. This is zero plus four times zero greater than or less than to 8. So, this becomes zero plus zero less than or equal to 8. 0 is less than or equal to 8. So, sabi ko kanina, kapag true ang ating final answer, ibig sabihin, we need to shade the area where the origin is located. Kapag false, we need to shade the area where the origin is not located. So, based from our solution, 0 is less than or equal to 8. This, that is true. Therefore, we need to shade the area kung saan nandun ang ating origin. And that is the lower part of the line. Okay. And this would be the graph of our resulting equation. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more math videos. Don't forget to like, share, and comment if you have any questions. Once again, this is Teacher Mel.